Hello again everybody. For anyone that I haven't had the pleasure of meeting yet, my name is Chelsea. I hope you've been enjoying all of the creative challenge that we've been posting up on the Facebook page so far. And I've got to say a huge thank you for everybody who has either replied in the comments with your responses or who has emailed us. It's providing loads and loads of brilliant inspiration for the artists. Today, we are going to keep working on character, digging to find a little bit more information about the characters who are going to be the focus of our stories. And I'm going to do that today by putting your acting skills to the test. First of all, by getting you to do lots and lots of silly and maybe one or two serious voices. So I want you to think about your character. Now, this could be the character that you've been working on throughout the week, or it could be a completely brand new character that you are thinking of just now. If you watched the video on Monday, maybe there is an object that you're basing your character on. I'm going to use this object today. And I want you to think of a list of sentences that your character might say. So it could be them introducing themselves and saying their name. It could be them talking about their favourite food, their best friend, their least favourite things, anything at all that you think is interesting about your character. Maybe just pick three, four or five things. It doesn't have to be a long list at all. And then I want you out loud to say lots of those sentences in different voices until you find a voice that suits your character. So using my character here, I might try out, first of all, a very, very high pitched voice. Hello, I'm a hedgehog. How are you? Hmm, that voice didn't feel quite right. So maybe I'll try a very, very deep voice. Hello, my favourite food is raspberry ripple ice cream. How about you? Hmm, that still doesn't feel quite right. So I'm going to try out a quiet voice this time. At the bottom of the garden. It's my favourite place because there's lots of juicy worms. Hmm, I quite like that voice. Once you've found a voice that you think suits your character, I want you to think about why it suits them. Does it suit part of their personality? Like for my hedgehog, a quiet vo voice suits them because I think they're quite shy. Or maybe they've got a really big, loud voice because they're super confident. Or maybe they talk a bit like one of your teachers because they seem to know everything. Try out lots of different voices until you find one that fits just right. Then perhaps you could make a voice recording of you saying some of your sentences in your character's voice that you could send us on the Facebook page or via email. Can you think of any books which rely on voices when the characters speak? I love using lots of different voices when I read out loud. It helps the story really come to life, especially when it's one of my favourite books like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl. I love doing a silly voice for Augustus Gloop or another voice for Violet Beauregard. It really helps me imagine all of the different characters and see what's happening. Now, for a moment, we're going to forget about our voices. And instead, we're going to focus on how we move. I want you to think about all the different animals in the world and how they move differently. For example, a snake slithers along the floor, whereas cats are very, very graceful, normally. <laughs> and sloths are really, really slow. Have loads of fun trying out, moving around the room like lots of different animals. Maybe you could be a chimpanzee who's swinging from the trees or a bouncy dog who's really excited to see their owner come home. Or maybe you're a hamster with teeny teeny tiny legs who can't run fast enough. Have loads of fun trying out all the different movements and see which ones you think are the most fun. Then have a think about your character. If they were an animal, what kind of animal would they be? 
what animal-like qualities do they have? Do they move like one of the animals that you tried out? Or do they have certain personality traits or characteristics which are similar to an animal? So are they nosy like a bird? Or are they sneaky like a mouse who's trying to get a bit of cheese? Do they have similar motivations or wants like a particular animal? Are they like a monkey who's always trying to make people laugh? Are they like a magpie who's always looking for shiny things to steal? Or are they like a kangaroo who always wants someone sitting in their pouch? Who knows? It could be any combination of things. So to try lots out, I want you to combine your movements with your voices and mix them all up to create lots and lots of different characters. Maybe you will find a character who talks very slowly but moves really fast like a cheetah. Or maybe you've got a character who giggles every time they talk, but they're always, always hungry like a caterpillar. What different characters can you create? There are endless possibilities, so have loads of fun. You can even think about your favourite characters from books and mix up how they move or talk and see what funny things you can come up with. Don't forget to send us all of your weird and wonderful creations. You can make some voice recordings or videos of you acting as one of your animals or characters using lots of different voices and movement styles. You can even add some filters over the top to make you look like the animals. That could be really good fun. You could also draw your characters and maybe put speech bubbles of what they're saying. That could even turn into a comic strip or you could create a collage of lots of different characters. Do whatever you feel will be loads of fun to do. The choice is yours, but remember to send them in to us so that we can add them all in to the final story at the end of the six weeks. I hope you have a really great day. Bye-bye.